Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is my kitty cats. They're just, they're just going out for a walk right now. I would I used to put the, these little harnesses on them and then I would attach a leash to them so they wouldn't run away. Because when, before when I would walk them without a harness on, they'd just sprint everywhere. But when I had the leash attached to their harness, obviously as soon as they'd run away, I'd, I'd just pull, pull them back. So it's there's this trick I found where I just put the harness on, but then I don't put a leash on it. And they don't really know the difference. They probably still think I can somehow grab them um, if they sprint. So they're, they're a lot more calm when they have the harnesses on. They're not sprinting everywhere. So it's just safer to walk them like this. They kind of they kind of just mosey about, just sniffing things and chilling, looking at animals and stuff. So, yeah, um, rock climbing was has been really good. I've uh, I've been pushing that. I think jujitsu is actually making my rock climbing better because something I noticed about yoga is actually my rock climbing got worse because my upper body got more uh, flexible. And in turn, you don't have like that full strength as much as you normally do. Uh, I think a lot of strength comes in like just muscle tension and atrophy, weirdly enough. So um, that's interesting. I started doing like yoga just on the lower body because flexible legs are good. Flexible arms, not as much. So yeah, and jujitsu, because you, you're forced to think on the fly. Um, you move you move a lot quicker you're like okay shit I, I have to fucking take my opening now and i find with climbing i'm more i'm more intuitively moving when i need to and just making that movement like when i, I sent this 13 minus it's like a pretty hard climb and for the end i i just like i just intuitively knew where to put my like throw my leg whereas i tried that like over and over and over again for like a month now and I keep falling in that spot. And then last time I did it, I did it super easy. So that's a really cool thing about learning, like, or climbing or just any any kind of any kind of sport. It's just like you, the more you fail, it's not even a conscious thing. But you just next time you try it, you know exactly what to do, and you get a little higher and you fail again. And I kind of learned that from Dark Souls, but I, I treat rock climbing like that and. I don't think about what I'm going to do before I actually get on the wall. I just like intuitively know exactly what to do if I've fallen over and over. So there's this type of climbing called flashing. <laughs> I know flashing, uh. but like flashing where you finish the climb without looking at it first try. And I could never do that because I've always been the kind of guy that like has to know where everything is. And the only way I can do it, I can't do it by looking at it. I got to actually like try it and get on it and see like how it feels. But I, I feel like I'm pretty good once I've, oh, the cats are running. Once I've figured out like exactly where to go, muscle memory wise. But jujitsu has been really cool. I've been doing like the fundamentals classes on Tuesdays and learning like a lot of base, baseline fundamentals and even like just going over them again because it's been so long, I'm like pretty rusty. And then I go on, I go to the high level class after, um, on Friday is the high is like, well, not high level, but like all levels. So most people, weirdly enough, I think get washed out. Like there's very few people that stuck around. There's one guy that stuck around that I remember from back when I, I was going before that I saw at the gym so far and he's a blue belt. So he's gone up one belt. It's been like four years, but there's a lot of like white belts there. So you start off with a white belt, but they've been been white belts for like like years like two years so this gym does not give out belts really easily uh but like that being said some of the some of the white belts are pretty fucking good like they could probably beat some blue belts even and especially in other gyms and stuff so i know it's a difficult gym but it's uh i'd way rather that i kind of would like to be a white belt that can tap black belts i think that'd be hilarious i'd actually rather just do that but um yeah i was i was training with some higher level guys and it's cool because with the fundamentals class i learn that baseline stuff but then with the all levels when i'm rolling with a really good guy they kind of can feel like how that you're still learning if you spaz out they're gonna smash you because if you're like a white belt but you're, you're freaking out you could hurt them or hurt yourself so they're gonna like smash you just to protect themselves 
but if you're a white belt that's like relaxed and like actually trying to learn that's kind of how i'm going about it now i'm not <laughs> i used to be a spaz but now i'm trying to relax and i'm a lot less sore in the classes too because i'm a lot more relaxed when i'm doing things and i've learned so much rolling with the better guys because they're so helpful like they're not they're obviously going to like try to get me up up to their level before it's even fun for them to, to spar with me or to roll with me so if they're tapping me really easily which they were they're tapping me super easily also they're a lot heavier than me um then they're like no dude like this is how you do this this is how you do this so i learned so much in the last last session that i did with all levels and then at the very end of the class because i i'm only doing two classes a week to give my my body some time to like get used to jujitsu so i know I, I knew i was gonna have like from friday all the way till tuesday to like recover so i'm like fuck it i was pick a I, I just decided to pick a just to roll with like this big Nganu looking fucking guy who's like he's he's been doing jujitsu for like a year and a half or something like that and i'm like i'll, I'll roll with you let's go <laughs> let's go and see how it goes and uh he's he said at first he's like i'm gonna go easy and he was no no dude he was just he was free like going crazy so uh yeah he he immediately slammed me and then got me into a choke i'm like oh shit okay i have to i can't just like be chill with this guy so i started getting getting a little more serious and trying really hard and the the i rolled him two more times and i was actually able to defend him pretty well like com despite the uh there's a clear weight difference but when i was actually like, using my climbing strength and pull strength and stuff i, I was able to uh keep him in guard and like hold them off for a decent amount of time. So, I mean, that's progress. That feels pretty good. And I guess I guess the guys kind of respect that too, because they're like willing just to roll with the fucking biggest guy in the class. But I'd actually rather, honestly, uh, I'm sure he was taking it a little easy on me. Maybe not, I don't know, but I, I, I'm sure he was because there's another like smaller white belt guy who was just like spazzing out like crazy and going nuts. He almost fucking kicked me in the jaw and actually dodged it. <laughs> But, uh, oh shit, sorry, one sec, one sec. Kitty, he's, uh, he's in somebody's carport. I gotta rein him back in. There we go. Just wandering around, curious kitty. But, oh, there they go, all the way back home. That's what they do, they come all the way out here and then the wind picks up and they freak out and sprint home. Oh my god. Um... But yeah, as for games, I've been playing Diablo 4. I ended up getting into it. And just like I suspected, it is the easiest game I have ever played in my whole life. There is zero skill involved. The builds are quite fun. Uh, I made a Necromancer build for my first one. And I'm doing this thing called... Well, I, I'm, I'm doing like three builds in one, kind of, because there's I'm doing shadow, so like sh I'm focused on shadow damage. Uh, there's like some mods you can do with the corpse explosions. So like I basically consume corpses to make them explode or like pull people in with tendrils. And um, I do shadow damage in that way. I also have like a spell, an ultimate that creates corpses. Uh, so like the corpse consumption builds are actually like one build uh, on their own and then shadow builds are usually something different but i kind of combine the two and then i also did a third um thing on mine i did like thorn minions i call them horny minions because i basically tried to max out the thorns on my character um so thorns are like these things you can stick on your armor and you can actually get skills that uh, spec into thorns and it makes it so the more uh thorns you have when enemies hit you the more damage they do to themselves it doesn't actually mitigate any damage to them um but it it does damage them when they touch you so then i also got these like other armor pieces where when my minions get hit they have 15 percent of my thorns so if like somebody hits with like an aoe melee attack with all my minions they're getting like just destroyed so i'm basically running through the game and I rarely even have to use my skills or spells or anything. All I have to do is like touch the enemies and then when the enemies like attack my guys, they all just die. So I've been running through the game with like a gigantic skeleton army and every time any of them gets touched, the enemies just die. So yeah, 
the I'm, I'm still finishing the campaign there's like world tiers so i chose the highest world tier i could at the time which just means like it increases the difficulty as much as you can and it increases the loot and stuff but you only get to start with world war world world war uh the world tier two and i think it goes up to world tier five i think it starts to get actually fun around four or like somewhat challenging around four but man like if you know how to build uh, build a decent build the game is so fucking easy i'm thinking of building uh after i i don't know i'm gonna max level my necromancer see how far i get with that and once i get too bored of that i think i'm gonna make a druid because uh, it turns out with this season necromancers are notoriously overpowered <laughs> and i can i feel it yeah um i didn't really know that until i built it but now i'm like okay yeah this is fucking op as shit and the way i built it i haven't really seen a lot of builds like mine but i feel like mine is so broken but i'm gonna make a druid because apparently druids are like the worst they're just garbage and the game is like a slog with them so i try to make that um and see how challenging it is but uh yeah i mean that's, that's pretty much my update I, I did end up getting into diablo 4 surprisingly really relaxing though it's actually i'm having quite a bit of fun with it a lot more fun than i thought i would even though it is easy uh it's so responsive and i love like the amount of spells and builds that you can do but yeah it's fucking easy and i'm sure i'll get bored at some point i'm starting to kind of feel it but when i first the first like 10 hours was awesome um yeah i've been oh i've been doing like barbecues and stuff i did a barbecue just just before filming this and taking my cats out uh you guys should come over have some you can do like burgers or something but anyway i gotta go rain in the cats have a good rest of your rest of your week. Bye guys.